Hey everyone, hybrid cars are really taking off right now, and the Honda Accord Hybrid is one of the most popular out there. Yeah, definitely seems like it. It looks great and it's super fuel efficient, mm. but we all know it's got that big battery pack under the hood. Right. And that's what we're going to dive into today. How long those batteries actually last and what you can do to keep them running smoothly. Sounds good. We're looking at a really recent article on this topic by a hybrid tech expert named John Alsold. Okay. It's called... How long do Honda Accord hybrid batteries last? And it was published on Christmas Day, December 25th, 2024. Oh, wow. So it's super up to date. Yeah, it is. It's on a website called Ecotech Hybrid. So it seems like a pretty reliable source. Yeah, great place to start. So if you're thinking about buying an Accord hybrid or if you already own one and want to make sure you get the most out of it, mm -hmm. we're going to break down all the key factors that affect the battery's lifespan and give you some practical advice. Now, before we get into how long they last, can you give us a quick overview of what's actually going on inside that battery system? What's in there? Okay, so uh, it's a pretty sophisticated setup. It's not just one big battery. It's a, a bunch of individual battery cells. Okay. And those are what actually store the electricity. Then you've got some power electronics that control how the electricity flows. Mm -hmm. And there's a cooling system to keep everything at the right temperature. And then there's a control module, which is like the brain of the whole system. Wow. So it's more complex than I thought. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. And all of that works together with the gasoline engine. Yeah, how does that actually work? So let's say you're driving along and you accelerate. The battery kicks in to give you an extra boost of power. Okay. And then when you break the system, capture some of that energy that would normally be lost as heat. Right. And it uses it to recharge the battery. That's called regenerative braking. Ah, so that's how it helps you save fuel. Exactly. And over the years, Honda has been making improvements to the whole system. Well, you might remember the older hybrid cars used nickel metal hydride batteries. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember those. Yeah, they weren't as efficient. But the Accord Hybrid now uses lithium ion batteries. Okay. They're lighter, they store more energy, and they last longer. So that's good news. Definitely. Okay, so how long do these lithium ion batteries actually last? Well, according to John's article, the average lifespan is 8 to 10 years. Wow. Or up to 150,000 miles. That's impressive. It is. It's way longer than the battery in your typical gas-powered car. And that means you're not going to have to replace it as often, which saves you money. Exactly. Plus, you're saving money on gas all along because of the hybrid system, so it really adds up. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm guessing how you drive affects how long the battery lasts, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Your driving habits play a big role. So how can we drive in a way that's good for the battery? Well, the main thing is to avoid putting too much stress on it. Okay. So things like accelerating really hard or braking suddenly can wear it down faster. So smoother driving is better. Yeah, exactly. Try to accelerate, gradually anticipate your stops, and brake gently. <laughs> <laughs> Like we're driving Miss Daisy. Uh -huh, well, something like that. But seriously, that makes sense. It does. And it's not just about how you drive. What else? Temperature also has an impact on battery life. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. Extreme heat or cold can affect its efficiency. So if you live in a place with really hot summers, right. it's a good idea to park in the shade whenever you can. So that the battery doesn't overheat. Exactly. It just helps to keep it running at its best. Makes sense. Yeah. So smooth driving and shade and parking are two key things to remember. Definitely. But what happens when, even with our best efforts, the battery starts to show signs of age? What should we be looking out for? That's a good question. John mentions a few things to watch out for. One of the first signs is a noticeable drop in your fuel economy. So if you're not getting as many miles per gallon as you used to. Right. That could mean the battery isn't assisting the engine as much as it should be. You might also notice some unusual engine behavior, like hesitation, or sluggishness. Or just strange noises. Yeah, any of those could be early signs of battery fatigue. And then there's the check engine light, right? Oh, yeah. Never ignore that, especially in a hybrid. It could definitely signal a battery issue. So if we see any of these signs, what should we do? The best thing is to take it to a qualified mechanic right away. Yeah, so they can diagnose the problem. Exactly. Early detection is key. It can save you from more serious problems and costly repairs down the road. So regular checkups with a mechanic are probably a good idea anyway. Definitely. It's all about preventative maintenance. Speaking of which, doesn't Honda offer a pretty good warranty on these batteries? They do. It's actually one of the best in the industry. That gives me some peace of mind. Yeah, it should... Honda covers their hybrid batteries for eight years or 100,000 miles. 
Wow, that's pretty generous. It is. It covers repairs or replacements due to defects under normal use. So if something goes wrong, okay. that's not your fault. Right. Honda will take care of it. And they also offer extended warranties if you want even more coverage. That's good to know. <laughs> but even with a warranty, I'm sure there are things we can do ourselves to keep that battery healthy, Rick. You bet. There are actually quite a few simple things you can do to maximize its lifespan. Like what? Well, first and foremost, stick to Honda's recommended service schedule. Okay, so get those regular checkups. Exactly. It allows technicians to catch any potential problems early on before they become major issues. Like getting an annual physical. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Another important tip is to avoid completely discharging the battery or charging it to 100% all the time. Really? I thought it was good to charge it up all the way. It's actually better to keep it in that sweet spot between 20% and 80%. Interesting. Why is that? Well, think of it this way. If you keep stretching a rubber band to its limits over and over again, it'll eventually lose its elasticity. Okay, I get it. It's the same with the battery. It's ah. best to keep it within a comfortable range. So not too high and not too low. And remember what we talked about earlier about smooth driving? Yeah. Well, that applies to charging too. Oh, how so? When you accelerate and brake gently, it also helps the battery charge and discharge more smoothly. Ah, that makes sense. So it's like we're constantly training our battery to perform at its best with every drive. I like that analogy. It's about being mindful of how our actions impact this complex system under the hood. Now let's talk about that inevitable day when the battery does need to be replaced. What kind of costs are we talking about? Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? It is. According to John, the average replacement cost for a Honda Accord hybrid battery is somewhere between $3,000 and $5,000. Oh, wow. That's a significant chunk of change. It is. It's definitely an investment. Mm. But it's important to remember that this battery has already saved you a lot of money on gas over the years. Right. And you're essentially replacing a major component of your car. Exactly. And when you compare it to the cost of replacing a transmission or an engine, yeah. it's actually not that bad. So it's all about perspective. It is. And you also have options when it comes to replacement. Like what? Well, you can go to a Honda dealership and get a genuine Honda battery. Okay. That's usually the most expensive option, but it comes with peace of mind. Because you know it's the right part and it's installed correctly. Exactly. But there are also aftermarket suppliers that offer batteries at a lower cost. So you could save some money that way. Oh, it could, but yeah. it's important to do your research and make sure you're getting a quality battery from a reputable source. Right, because you don't want to cheap out and end up with a battery that doesn't last. Exactly. And then there's also the option of getting a refurbished battery. Oh, yeah. What's that? It's basically a used battery that's been tested and reconditioned. So it's like getting a pre-owned battery. Yeah, something like that. It can be a good way to save money, but again, you want to make sure you're getting it from a reputable source. Okay, so there are definitely choices out there. There are. So walk me through what actually happens when a battery needs to be replaced. Okay, so the first thing they'll do is run some diagnostic tests to confirm that it's actually the battery that needs to be replaced. Right. Once they've confirmed that they'll remove the old battery, which is a pretty involved process. Oh, yeah. I bet those batteries are heavy. Yeah, they are. It's definitely a job for professionals with the right equipment. So not something you can do in your driveway. Definitely not. Yeah. And then once the old battery is out, they'll install the new one and test the whole system to make sure it's working properly. So it's a multi-step process. It is. Now, while we're on the topic of replacement, what about the environmental side of all this? I mean, one reason people choose hybrids is to reduce their carbon footprint. Absolutely. So how does the Accord Hybrid measure up in that regard? Well, its fuel efficiency is a major factor in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Right. Compared to a gas-powered car, you're driving with a much smaller environmental impact. So you're saving money at the pump and contributing to a cleaner planet. Exactly. It's a win-win. And what about the batteries themselves? Well, Honda has battery recycling programs in place. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. So when your battery eventually reaches the end of its life, right. it can be recycled responsibly instead of ending up in a landfill. So it's closed loop. It is. It's all part of Honda's commitment to sustainability. That's great. So choosing a hybrid isn't just about personal benefits. Mm -hmm. It's also a statement about our values and our commitment to the environment. I agree. It's about making choices that are good for us and good for the planet. Okay, before we move on, I have a quick question for you. Sure. For listeners who might be considering other Honda hybrids, how does the Accord's battery life compare to, say, the Insight or the CRV hybrid? That's a good question. They all have similar lifespans. Oh, really? 
Yeah, they're all estimated to last around 10 to 12 years. So Honda's pretty consistent across their hybrid models. They are. It gives buyers confidence knowing that they're getting a reliable and durable battery no matter which model they choose. That's great. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about the human side of all this. What are real Honda Accord hybrid owners saying about their experience with the battery and how happy they are with the car overall? Okay, so Joni actually includes some feedback from real owners in his article, okay. and it's overwhelmingly positive. That's good to hear. Yeah, a lot of people are really impressed with the fuel efficiency. They're getting even better mileage than they expected. So those impressive MPG numbers aren't just marketing hype. Nope. Real people are experiencing those savings in their daily lives. That's awesome. What else are people saying? They're also talking about how long the battery is lasting. Many owners have had their cars for several years and haven't had any issues with the battery. So it seems like Honda's claims about battery life are holding up in the real world. They are. And that's really reassuring for potential buyers. It is. It builds trust in the brand. Absolutely. And overall, people seem to be really happy with their Honda Accord hybrids. That's great. Yeah, they feel like they're getting a lot of value for their money, despite the higher initial cost. So it's an investment that pays off in the long run. It seems to be. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here. Yeah. We've talked about how the Honda Accord Hybrid's battery works, how long it lasts, and what you can do to keep it running smoothly. We have. We'll be back in part two to delve even deeper into this topic. Sounds good. So stay tuned. Welcome back. We're diving deeper into the Honda Accord Hybrid battery. I'm ready to learn more. Yeah. We covered the basics in the last part, but... Are there any like pro level tips? Pro level tips? Yeah, like secrets for squeezing out every last bit of life from those batteries. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Let's talk about deep discharge. Deep discharge. Yeah. Remember we talked about keeping the battery between 20 and 80% charge most of the time? Yeah, like the rubber band analogy. Mm -hmm. Not stretching it too far in either direction. Exactly. Well, it turns out that every once in a while, it can actually be beneficial to let the battery drop lower than that. Really? Yeah, like down to around 10%. Why would that be good? It kind of recalibrates the battery management system. Okay. When it sees that full discharge range, it can get a more accurate reading of the battery's capacity. So like reminding the system what it's working with. Exactly. And that helps it make better predictions about remaining charge and manage things more effectively. Just like a little reset button. Kind of. But you don't want to do it too often. Just every few months is enough. Got it. So deep discharge once in a while. Yep. Any other pro tips you're wondering about? Well, we talked about how temperature affects battery life and parking in the shade. Mm. But are there other things people do to keep those batteries cool? Oh, yeah. Some people go all out. They use battery cooling mats or fans, yeah. especially in hot climates. Oh, wow. So like giving your battery its own AC? Pretty much. Do people do that in cold weather too? Yep. There are battery warmers too. To prevent things from getting too chilly, batteries are kind of like us. They have a comfort zone. That makes sense. Mm. Now, we talked about replacement costs. And yeah, it's a big investment. Is there any way to maybe put that off a bit? Well, there's something called battery reconditioning. Reconditioning? Yeah, it's not a full replacement, but it uses special techniques to try to restore the performance of the battery cells. So it's like a spa day for your battery. I like that. It can be a way to extend the life of the battery without buying a whole new one. That sounds promising. Uh -huh. Is it always possible, though? It depends on the condition of the battery. Okay. And you need to find a technician who really knows what they're doing. Right. Someone who specializes in hybrids. Yeah, but if it's an option for you, it could buy you some time before that big replacement costs. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. What do you think the future holds for hybrid cars? You mean like what's next? Yeah, what can we expect in terms of battery technology, costs, environmental impact, all that stuff? That's a great question. It's a really exciting time. How so? Battery technology is advancing so rapidly. I've heard about solid state batteries. Is that the next big thing? They're definitely on the horizon, yeah. and they have the potential to be a game changer. In what way? They're more energy dense, so you can pack more power into a smaller space. Okay. They're also safer, and they have the potential to last even longer. That's amazing. Right. What about costs? Will these new batteries be super expensive? Well, as with any new technology, it starts off pricey. Right. But as production scales up and the technology matures, we can expect costs to come down. So it'll become more affordable for the average person. Exactly. And that's just one piece of the puzzle. There's also a lot of research going into other types of batteries. Like what? Like lithium sulfur batteries, magnesium ion batteries, even hydrogen fuel cells. Wow. 
Yeah. It seems like there are a lot of possibilities. There really are. And all of these advancements have the potential to make hybrid cars even more appealing. More efficient, more affordable, more yeah. sustainable. Exactly. So the future of hybrid ownership looks pretty bright. That's great to hear. Now, we've talked a lot about the technical side of all of this. Yeah. But I'm wondering about the human side. Okay. How can we as drivers mm -hmm. become more battery aware in our everyday lives? I love that term, battery aware. I think it starts with just being mindful. Okay. Pay attention to how you drive. Be aware of how temperature affects things and stay informed about the latest battery developments. So it's like treating your battery with respect. Yeah. It's understanding that it's not just a part of your car. It's a partner in the driving experience. I like that. It's a partnership. Exactly. And like any good partnership, it thrives on communication, understanding, and respect. And when we take care of our batteries, we're also taking care of the environment. Absolutely. It's all connected. This has been really eye-opening. We've learned so much about the Honda Accord hybrid battery and the future of hybrid technology in general. It has been a fascinating deep dive. It has. We'll be back in part three to wrap things up and leave you with some final thoughts. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're back for our final look at the Honda Accord Hybrid and that amazing battery. Yeah, it's been a really interesting deep dive. Before we wrap up, I want to make sure we give our listeners the key takeaways. You know, those nuggets of wisdom they can hold on to. Sounds good. Let's do it. So if someone out there is thinking about buying an Accord Hybrid, or maybe they already have one, what are the most important things they should remember about the battery? Okay, so the first thing is these batteries are built to last. Yeah. You know, you can realistically expect 8 to 10 years. Yeah. Or even up to 150,000 miles. That's pretty incredible. It is. And that means serious savings on gas. And when you factor that in, the overall cost of ownership can be surprisingly low. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Knowing you're not going to be hit with a huge battery replacement cost every couple of years. Right. And remember that lifespan isn't just some random number. It really depends on how you treat the battery. So it's a partnership. It is. Your driving habits, the climate you live in, how well you maintain the car, it all plays a role. So being battery aware, like we talked about. Exactly. It can really make a difference. And we've given our listeners some practical tips. Smooth driving, shaded parking, those regular service appointments, those small things add up. Okay, but let's be real. Even with the best care in the world, Eventually, that battery is going to need replacing. True. What then? Well, you have options. You can go with a genuine Honda battery. You can look into aftermarket suppliers, or you can sure. even consider a refurbished battery. Right. It's good to have choices. It is. Do your research, figure out what works best for your budget and your needs. But hey, beyond all the personal benefits, let's not forget about the bigger picture. Yeah, what about it? The environmental impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a huge reason why people choose hybrids in the first place. It is, and the Accord Hybrid does a great job there. How so? Well, its fuel efficiency significantly reduces emissions. And when you think about it, it's a win-win. A win for your wallet and a win for the planet. Exactly. And it's not just about fuel efficiency. What else? Honda has those battery recycling programs. Right. So those materials are being handled responsibly. It's all part of a more sustainable approach. It's good to know they're thinking about the whole life cycle of the battery. They are. And as technology keeps evolving, we can expect even greener and more efficient hybrids in the future. It's an exciting time to be a car enthusiast. It really is. So to sum it all up, the Honda Accord Hybrid is a great option. Yeah. It's reliable, fuel efficient, eco-conscious. It's a smart choice for anyone looking for a better way to drive. I couldn't agree more. It's been great chatting about this. Yeah, this has been a really informative deep dive. Thanks for having me. And thanks to all of you for listening and learning with us. We'll be back soon with another deep dive into the world of automotive technology. Until then, keep those wheels turning and drive safe.